Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos that I've done and I'm sure you can tell by the title of which I actually don't know what I'm naming this yet as I'm filming it, but I'm sure I'll come up with something by the time I publish this. But it's just going to be a short little video about Jackie Collins. I feel like this might be kind of a hard video to get through, so I kind of went back and forth on like if I should film it, but I really wanted to. Um, Jackie Collins was one of my favorite authors. I've talked about her several times on this channel. I've talked about her books. Um, I've talked about being able to interview her when I was just starting out in the book world and you know kind of what that meant to me. I feel like this video is going to have a lot of like <laughs> me clipping pieces out because it's just me like sighing and staring into space because I'm so sad but so just a fair warning but Another reason that I feel like it's just kind of a tougher video to film is because Jackie Collins passed away from breast cancer and I lost my grandmother to breast cancer as well. So it's just a subject that I tend to get emotional over. But I didn't want to let that stop me from filming a video in, you know, dedication to one of my favorite authors and it is October. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so I thought that would actually be a good tie-in as well. So I'll just try to get this all out there and make it as fast as I can. But basically, so Jackie Collins, she is, I mean, a, she was a world famous novelist. She died on September 19th of this year, 2015, from stage four breast cancer. She battled the cancer for six and a half years, which is just crazy, just crazy to think about. What was really wild to me was I was actually traveling the weekend that she passed away. My family was in town from Alabama. They were in Iowa. And so I drove by myself with my dog halfway across the state, um, got to see them for about 24 hours and then had to head back home. So while I was with them, you know, while I was driving, you know, yeah, I was four and a half hours in the car by myself, but that means I'm driving and I have to pay attention. I actually drove through really horrible weather. It was, it was a very scary night. Um, but obviously I'm not on my phone. And then when I was with my family, I really wasn't on my phone that much. I wasn't on social media pretty much at all that weekend. So I actually got home and it was it was late at night that I got home, maybe around 9, 10 o'clock and I get on my computer and I see people have, have been tagging me on, on Facebook and Twitter asking if I had seen the news about Jackie Collins and I hadn't. So I was completely shocked when I read that she had passed away. I was completely taken off guard. Um, even though Jackie battled the cancer for so many years, she really didn't tell anybody. I believe she had told her three daughters, but that was it. Her sister is actress Joan Collins. She didn't even tell her sister. I mean, she just, she kept it quiet. And she said in a quote that she kept it quiet because she didn't want to be a burden, which to me is pretty crazy. Um, you know, everyone has their reasons for, for doing what they do and death is such a, it's such a personal thing. I mean, you can't really tell anyone that they're right or wrong in the decisions that they make. But I thought that was pretty, wild because even while she had cancer she was traveling the world i think i read that she wrote five novels while she had cancer i mean i just i mean it just blows your mind when you think of that right got home saw the news i mean i started to cry right away i'm a very emotional person anyways i had just left my family that i hadn't seen in two years and that was already sad home and read that and it was it was so devastating I mean this is such a huge huge loss and it felt so personal to me even though I've never had the pleasure of meeting Jackie by any means it really did feel like it was a personal loss that night and I'm still thinking about it I woke up the next morning and one of my first thoughts was you know I'd really like to do some sort of video here on YouTube just because I know that I've mentioned her so much, but I also talked 
about her when I filmed my top five moments from starting my book blog, Chick Lip Plus, and kind of getting into this whole world. She was one of my top five moments because when I was first starting out in the blogging world, uh, what I would do before I would receive review copies from publishers and authors themselves is I would just go to the library and I would check books out. And Jackie Collins was one of the first books that I started checking out, really just on the covers. I mean, I was I was pretty much grabbing on covers and what seemed interesting to me. I did not know the name Jackie Collins at this time. I think I was 20 years old, but I didn't really know who she was or anything like that. I just started reading her books and I liked them and then I was like, dang, she's got a lot of books out there. And so I was getting more. I was reviewing them on Chicklet Plus and eventually, one day, I got an email from her publicist saying that Jackie wants to send me a copy of her latest book and she also was wondering if I would be interested in interviewing Jackie for my website. That was a point in time that I explained in my video that I was just like, my mind was blown. I felt solidified in starting Chicklet Plus was very scary to me. I was taking a risk. I was doing something unknown and I was putting money that I really didn't have towards building a website and, you know, trying to get all this good content on there, spending my money to be able to do that. It was such a risky move for me at the time. And within just a few months of starting to have Jackie Collins be requesting me to do an interview with her, it just was so crazy. Seriously, a dream come true. I mean, she's it was just amazing. The interview that we did, I will leave below. I've read so many of her books and reviewed so many of her books. I will leave all of those links below if you want to check any of them out. If you have not read anything from Jackie Collins, you are missing out. Her books are fantastic, but her books, so this is her latest one. This is called The Santangelos. Like, look at this book. When you buy one of her books, you will not be shorted. I mean, at all. You get a huge book. And I feel like this is a little bit bigger than some of Jackie's books, but Jackie's books are always thick and you will just get an experience when you read her books. So if you have not read any, please, please do. I pretty much picked up on Jackie once we started to get into the Santangelos and once we started to get involved in like Lucky and Gino and all those sorts of things. But I read some of her earlier works as well and I just, any book of Jackie's, I would highly recommend. There's a quote that I wrote down from Jackie because I just thought it was so interesting. That in one of her interviews, she said, if anything, my characters are toned down. The truth is much more bizarre. And I just thought that was so cool because she's always kind of been in that celebrity world. I mean, so to just think about her experiences that she's had and maybe what's been written into the book and what could have possibly have been toned down in the book because her books are not toned down. I mean, they are explicit, they're kind of raunchy. I mean, they are just filled to the brim with excitement. There's always something going on. The Santangelos is the latest book that she wrote. It just released this summer. It released June 16th. It's right there on the book because this was my advanced reading copy. It is just, her writing is something else. The world really lost someone when she passed away. So I'm really trying not to make this video so sad. Really hard for me to envision is not having more of these show up in my mailbox. Not having these huge books from Jackie to look forward to. That's so crazy to me. I don't know for sure if she has more novels coming out, like if maybe she wrote one or two and they just haven't been published yet. Um, so, you know, maybe we will have more from Jackie, which would be so amazing. But if we do end her writing legacy on the St. Angelos, it was such a good book. Oh my gosh. It was such a good book. I mean, I give it a five-star review. I feel like I give all of Jackie's books five stars because they are on another level. But The Santangelos was an absolute blast to read. I just highly recommend it. Of course, for an older audience, if I have any younger people watching, you probably are not ready for Jackie Collins' books yet. I'm not making this video too long or too rambly or I'm crying too much because I really just wanted to say a thank you to Jackie Collins because she inspired me. 
because she inspired me, especially as a writer. She's someone who I looked up to so much. She's someone who I admired so much. And like I said, even though I was never able to meet her, I was still able to talk to her, I was still able to interview her, I still felt a personal loss when she passed away. And I think that's a pretty big deal. So I just wanted to do a video to say thank you. If you have not read anything from Jackie, please get her on her list because you are missing out if you have not read her books. But of course, on the flip side, I also did want to say, since October is breast cancer month and breast cancer has affected my family personally, and it is what Jackie battled through for so many years, early detection is key. Please make sure you're getting those tests. Please make sure you're doing self tests on yourself. It's so, so important. I don't want to, you know, sit up here and, and preach or anything like that because it's that's not who I am and that's not what I want to do, but it was just another reason why I wanted to make this video, especially in October, that we're all doing the Think Pink and we're all fighting like a girl and all that good stuff is just to remember that there's more than just wearing the pink, wearing the pink ribbons and all that good stuff, that there's an actual cause behind why we do this. That is just my friendly little PSA that please get tested, please get checked, please be doing the test on yourself. Just to wrap this video up, just once again, I just wanted to say thank you to Jackie Collins. I hope that she inspired other people, especially if you're other writers or readers and you enjoyed reading her work. I hope that she inspired you in some way because she definitely did to me. I hope you've had a chance to read some of her books. If you haven't, please do go check them out. She has like a chillion out there. She's sold over 500 million copies, I believe it is. I mean, that just, that figure just blows your mind right there. She puts out so many books a year. Like I said, it's just going to be insane to not have another Jackie book show up on my doorstep. It, that's just absolutely devastating for me to think about. But I just wanted to say thank you to Jackie Collins. Thank you for inspiring me. October, let's think pink. Let's fight like a girl. Let's make sure we're getting tested and doing what we can. I would love if you've read Jackie's books. You want to comment below and say like what your favorite book is or maybe what you liked about her, her books. I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to know if Jackie maybe touched you in some way or inspired you in some way. I would absolutely love to know that because she was just an author that, I mean, she was on the top of my list, man. She was on the top of my list and wrap this video up now i'm sure i did not do it justice because i kept having to pause because i started to cry and then i lost my train of thought Ugh! sometimes it just stinks being so darn emotional that you can barely get through one sentence gosh please give this video a thumbs up did my voice just crack there i think it did <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna go get some ice cream now and try to calm myself down because that was actually, I, I knew this video was going to be hard to film, especially with just like thoughts of my grandma underway as well. And yeah, that was, that was tough to film, but I just, it was just something that I wanted to do. So I'm happy to be able to get this out there. If you enjoyed it, if you were able to watch it, if you are still listening to me ramble on, I mean, thanks for still hanging out with me. I am wearing dark lipstick. Hopefully I haven't had lipstick on my teeth during this entire video because there's no way I'm going to be able to re-record this. There's just no way. But yes, please do give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you've read anything from Jackie or if you know that you are going to read something from Jackie or if you just have any sort of memory or tribute or anything to her that you would like to say, please leave it in the comments below. Of course, please do subscribe before you leave and I will catch you in my video, which I promise will be much more lighthearted. Thanks for watching, guys.